Hi, number nine of the weekly roundup has robots, surprise, home automation, wireless transceivers, and a nice little stepper motor controller. There's a bunch of nice STEM products on Kickstarter this week. The Playbot is a nice little robot designed to teach kids how to program. You program it by tapping instruction cards on the robot. The cards have a number of commands such as functions, motions, actions, modifiers and sensors. Nice little Christmas present for the budding coder. There's also Root. No, not the Root account on Unix. Root is another STEM education robot, but this one can move across a whiteboard. It'll do simple line following, or stick a pen in and it'll draw for you. All programmable from an iPad from basic graphics all the way to full Python, JavaScript or Swift. It comes with tutorials for you to modify and hack around with. Nice. Continuing the theme of STEM education, the AirBlock is a programmable drone with magnetically connected modules. This allows you to be creative in the way you structure your drone. You have basic control mechanisms, but it doesn't seem to allow you to do more complex coding like the root. If you're looking for CD quality sound recording and playback, then Sound Ueno looks like a fairly decent Arduino hat. This is a third revision of this board and contains an SD card, stereo audio in and out, and a fairly easy API. The PSA1 is a tiny switch mode power supply. Heck, it's the smallest I've seen. I used to fix switch mode power supplies for dot matrix printers, and I can tell you, they were huge. This one supports an input voltage between 3 and 17 volts, delivering from 0.9 to 6 volts at 1 amp. This is not really a maker product, but more in the category of, oh, I want to hack this one to bits. The Bixi is a wireless gesture recognition device that connects to anything via Bluetooth. can recognise only 8 gestures currently and seems to be fixed in what the commands do. I don't see any mention of an API. If they don't create one, my money is on someone creating a hack for it pretty quickly. Only one interesting thing on Indiegogo. And that's the Itty Bitty City. Yet another STEM education tool from Microduino. Comes with a variety of modules that connect magnetically and is Lego compliant as well. They are colour coded as core, function, communication and extension for easy identification. OTA programming via Bluetooth is done with Scratch and Mixly. Or you can also use the Arduino IDE via USB. There are a number of kits that can extend it to do all sorts of cool stuff. Nothing interesting on the Crowd Supply website, but a few on the Tindy side. The little arm is probably a little expensive for what it does, but for that you get all the bits to make a three-axis robot arm controlled by an Arduino and four standard MG90S servos, so it won't be able to handle a huge load. While we're on motor controllers, there's the Mighty Step 17 stepper driver, which claims to be a direct replacement part for the MakerBot. If you've had a hard time sourcing these drivers, your search is over. Now this is nice. The U stepper is also a little pricey, but is designed to be placed on the back of any Namiya 17 motor. It is a board containing an Atmega 328, 12-bit rotary encoder, regulator, temperature sensor, and stepper drivers. It runs off 8 to 24 volts, an all-in-one package that will simplify your cabling. I seem to be always running out of USB ports on some of my small projects. The Nano Hub is a breakup board containing a 4-port USB 2 hub. This one replaces the original 2-port hub I mentioned in one of my earlier roundups. The Daisy Hat hasn't got anything to do with cows. But it is a two-channel AIS receiver. What's AIS, you ask? AIS is Automatic Identification System and is used in aircraft and marine tracking applications. It can connect to OpenCPN to see objects tracked in real time. Looking for an ARM Cortex M3 hat for your Pi? The PPP SOC is a breakout board containing, well, an ARM Cortex M3. Adafruit and SparkFun have a few interesting things, as well as some cheap Chinese shops. Adafruit have a new capacitive touch hat for the Pi that also has a CD quality audio out jack and small prototyping area. Adafruit have also created an extensive API for it as well. Then there's the Pi Moroni home automation hat, which contains ADCs, inputs, outputs and relays, all supporting up to 24 volts. If you're looking for real-time clocks, Adafruit have two new ones in stock, the DS1307 and PCF8523 with the only difference between them being, apart from price, the DS1307 requires 5 volts. 
This nice little board allows you to control any 16x2 or 20x4 character LCD with PWM backlight control. You can send commands by either UART or it also has an onboard USB port. It contains onboard EEPROM so you can save customizations. OK, it's almost Christmas. Time to start hacking those APA102 LED strips. The APA102 is similar to the WS2812, but it is controlled over SPI, so refresh rates are fairly high. SparkFun have them in stock just in time. A number of Chinese online shops have the ESP32S and ESP3212. You have to be careful which ESP32 you buy, and there seems to be a fair amount of confusion. There's essentially two brands, Espress If and the AI Thinker module. The ESP3212 is cheaper, but not as good as the Espressif ESP W Room 32 or AI Thinker ESP32S module. Head on over to ESP32Net if you need more information. If you want to start making some home automation projects, then here's one option. Helicrow have a Pi hat with onboard NRF24 transceiver at Mega328P, RTC, and FTDI header. It fully supports the open source home automation framework from mysensors.org. There's also the Crowtail Advanced Arduino kit, which has a whole bunch of stuff in it that would cost a lot more than buying individually, like flame, PIR, water and range sensors, RTC, infrared, Wi-Fi and LCDs. One of the projects in my pipeline requires a hydro generator. This is a handy little unit providing 3.6 volts from standard water mains pressure across a wide temperature range. Thanks for watching this week's roundup. As always, links are in the description below and on my website. You can always follow and subscribe to me by clicking on any of the on-screen buttons and supporting me on Patreon helps me to produce videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next week.